Hi, I'm Chris Prezi, appraiser with FCC. Have you ever been in the process of buying a property and questioned whether or not you've considered everything? Well, today we'll discuss the factors to consider when buying agricultural real estate. First off, it's important to note that there are different market participants for agricultural properties. These groups will have different reasons for their purchase. An investor may be focused on the return on investment, while a producer will be considering how it fits into their operation. This presentation is geared towards those producers. So factors to consider can be categorized as social and economic factors, physical factors, legal factors, and environmental factors. So first off, it's important to be aware of the social and economic factors surrounding your property. Government policy and regulations can have a major impact on value, such as trade agreements and barriers. For example, Think of the impact of the COVID-19 restrictions this past year. Financial influences such as interest rates and commodity prices can also play a big role. Consider the impact of livestock and grain prices on their industry and property values. Locally, you have factors like supply and demand, trends in values and rental rates, the availability of labor, just to name a few. Consider the social and economic environment that you're located in and also take a look at the bigger picture. These factors can have a big impact on the market value of agricultural real estate, and they should be considered when buying a property. As for the property itself, there are many physical factors that come into play. So when looking at the land, location and productivity are two major elements. Other examples include drainage, topography, size and configuration, and accessibility. When looking at a building, age and condition are important, along with its use. You could also consider the functionality of the building. If it's older, how does it compare to current building standards? Does the layout have a negative impact on its use? And are there immediate renovations or repairs needed? Sources of this information may vary from one place to another, but generally speaking, you can get it from the property title, property assessment, a site visit, municipal or county office, the planning district, and aerial images. Now, legal factors can also come into play. This can take many different forms. So here are a few examples. Number one, in knowing the property's zoning and land use controls. In other words, knowing its permitted, conditional, and discretionary uses. Suppose we have a chicken barn, which was built next to a town before any zoning bylaws were in place. This may be legally non-compliant now, but any further expansion may be restricted. Are there any registered easements or interests on the property that might impact the property's rights and value? This could be a conservation easement or maybe a right of way to restrict use. Finding out if the proper permits are in place, such as permits for confined livestock operations or for water use for irrigation systems. Some sources for this information would be the local municipal or county office, the planning district, the zoning bylaws, and of course the property title. Environmental factors are more important than ever. Consumers are becoming increasingly aware of the process involved in getting their food from the farm to the table. Here are some examples of things to consider. Knowing the condition of the water source and the importance of reducing wastage. Having the proper permits in place can also be an environmental issue. For example, permits for manure management. Consider the property's impact on the surrounding ecosystem. And have a look at the fuel and chemical storage and address any concerns you might have. Responsible stewardship of the property is crucial. Having the proper controls in place will help mitigate the risk to the environment. There are several factors to consider when buying a property. They can be categorized as social and economic, physical, legal, and environmental factors. It's prudent to do your due diligence when deciding whether or not to buy. This can be a very emotional process, but a well-informed decision will help reduce the risks involved with these important purchases. It should always be tied to your short and long-term goals, as well as your farm's financial situation. If you're interested in learning more, feel free to reach out to your local FCC office. Thank you.